Hey guys, Kitsy D here. It's kind of a sad video for me. This is my first video since I lost my Nikita. Um, she passed away uh, today last week, um, which happened to be my birthday. Um, she, uh, come to find out she had cancer and um, she was almost 16. We've been through quite a bit, so it's, she was my best friend. She is, other than the cat I had before her, um, 18, 19, 20 years ago, um, since I lost that cat, um, she was just unbelievable. She was awesome. And I just... I can't imagine my life without her and I'm having a really hard time so and that being said I did get today's uh, this month's that daily deal snack box um, so I thought I'd do an unboxing and hopefully this goes okay um, I haven't cried in the past couple of days although I've just been devastated um, I don't have my furry little friend anymore and I've never had other than my my other fur babies I've never had anything love me so unconditionally as much as Kita did me her name was Nikita but like many pets she had many different names um, she was my baby I miss her I just I just I miss her bringing me socks and if she did something bad she'd bring up a t-shirt or whatever <laughs> it was kind of funny um, listen to those meows as she's struggling to bring a present to mama up the stairs and into the bedroom and sometimes she'd bring it all the way up onto the bed socks she would brought up on the bed a lot and if she had done something bad <laughs> um, I'd get clean underwear, I'd get towels, I'd get shirts, sometimes I'd even get, uh, leggings, so, um, she was just an awesome cat, so, anyway, so, I have the, that Daily Deals, uh, box, it's $30 a month, for snacks, and you don't know what you're gonna get, and it's not like your typical snack, these are all, this all stuff is close to its best buy date and in some case, cases it might actually be just over its best buy date but um, a lot of the uh, food places snack snack companies that do the boxes if you get their subscriptions a lot of theirs are very close to the best buy date as well and I think that's how they can sell um, the boxes um, at a decent rate um, for what they put in there because the stuff isn't cheap um, if you buy everything yourself fresh separately um, so this in itself is worth the thirty dollars and you get healthy stuff you get all you, get, you never know what you're gonna get um, you get healthy stuff you get junk food and as healthy as I try to eat I have to have a little junk food now and then I just do I don't know what it is I just have to have it so let's see what they sent us this time okay we start off with some junk food we have let me get my light okay we have two packages these are not a butters I'm assuming these are uh, each probably a serving they're four cookies each so those are good these are granola cups these look good granola cups and almond butter um, those kind of look like cookies those are by nature belly oh we got I've got three of those so far we have Annie's toaster pastries Strawberry with frosting, and they're organic. There's six of them. There's 16 whole grains. No artificial f 
flavors, synthetic colors or preservatives. No high fructose corn syrup. Yes. Um, and let's see. Dear friend, we admit it. Sometimes our days are so packed we rush out the door on an empty stomach. Our organic toaster pastries make it easy to enjoy a wholesome morning or afternoon snack. Eat them warm and toasty or straight out of the bag. Made with only the best ingredients including 16 grams of whole grains. And each sweet pastry is like a little piece of home you can take with you no matter where you go. Bye for now, all of us at Annie's. Okay, so these are basically Annie's version of Pop-Tarts. Um, and I had a friend who was a health nut, and this is actually something um, he used to eat before you'd go into work. Uh, because it, you'd have your, your carbs, your fruit, um, your little bit of fat. Um, he would also... He'd get his protein in there. Anyway, this was something a healthy person used to eat every single day. And, and he he did very well. He's He is a very healthy person. So, um, so I know my husband will be happy. And those will be good just to munch on. Next up. Oh, yay. Coconut chip. A whole box. There are five bars in here. Coconut chocolate chip. Just five ingredients. Let's see what those... Okay. Whoop. There's dates, chocolate chips, coconut, cashews, and almonds. And that's it. I'm psyched. I got a whole box of them. Love, love, love my bars. Next up. Oh, really psyched. Really, really, really psyched about this. We all... Granola is expensive. Excuse me, expensive, especially, I can't believe I just said that. Especially, not especially, especially. We pick on people about that. <laughs> Anywho, um, lemon blueberry granola. And um, I'm going to be getting my recipe together to make my version of holy crap cereal. And I usually make that into like a chia pudding. And then I'll put some of this on top of it. Oh, yes. If it even makes it, I don't know. It, it, this is going to get hidden, I think. Because I really, really, really love granola. And this one sounds really good. Next up, we have... We... Oh, we have... Oh, they got to do this to me. Okay, there's... These are peanuts. There's, this one's white cheddar jalapeno. Why do they have to put jalapeno in there? My husband will love it. I'll probably like it too, but these are peanuts. And then they have hot buffalo. So he'll love that. Oh, we got a couple of more nut of butter. So that's four nut of butters. And we have another granola cup. So that's four of those. We have... Ooh, these look good. These are by Fiber One. These are salted caramel cheesecake bars. So this is kind of like this is kind of like junk food that's kind of good for you, but it's still kind of not good for you. You catch what I mean? It's better for you than if it was full on junk food. Um, there's 150 calories. Um, one serving is bar. Um, let's see. 24 grams of carbs, 9 grams of sugar, um, which actually isn't bad. Um, and there's only 3 grams of protein. So this would be a nice little snack. Next up, we have a... Okay. We have a, I don't know if this is supposed to be a sharing. Let's see. Okay, this, there's supposed to be three servings in here. Um, I'm sorry, but look at the size of this. And this is Chex Mix. This is like one serving. Um, this is just um, traditional Chex Mix. Always a winner in this, this house. Next up. Oh, ho, ho, ho. These are mine. These are mine. These are mine. 
good health veggie chips and sea salt. See? And these typically are made with tapioca starch. Uh, let's see. Dehydrated potato, potato starch, sunflower oil. Let me see what the, what the veggies are in here. Okay, so they have dehydrated garlic, dehydrated tomato, turmeric for color, dehydrated parsley, dehydrated, dehydrated green pepper, dehydrated spinach, dehydrated oregano, in other words, dried oregano. <laughs> oh, vegetable and fruit extracts for color, radish, apple, and black currant are what they use for color paprika extract and sea salt so basically these are potato chips with some vegetable extracts in them but um they're they're let's see there are three servings per this which okay yeah, i could definitely see that and actually perkins this whole bag is, they actually, they're, they're kind enough to give you the per serving and the per container. So it's 140 calories per serving and 380 calories for the whole bag. Which isn't bad because um, there are bags this size that are one size. Not, not necessarily this brand, but of different items that are single serve that are three, four, five hundred calories, so. Ooh. Here's a good one. Food should taste good guacamole tortilla chips. Now let's see what these are all about. Okay, these have five servings per, con per, per container, and we know that's not happening. It's more like my husband and I um, splitting. And whoever whoever eats the most wins, I guess. Um, if you're seeing, if you're wondering what this is, this is the last sock that Nikita brought up to me um, before she passed away. So I have it around my. Um, it's kind of like a headband, but I use it to wick away when I get hot um, to keep me cool, but I put this kind of wrapped it around and did a knot so I wouldn't lose the sock. And she carried this right up to mama on the bed, um, the day before she passed away, the night before she passed away. So, um, and oddly enough, the next morning and the morning after that, I woke up and found two socks. Each morning I found a sock right next to me, which was just really kind of weird, but I put those aside and kept them, because to me that was my baby coming to me, telling me she was okay. Anyhow, um, let's see. So these are made with, these are, ma they are made with ground corn, um, and they list uh, high oleic sunflower oil and or safflower oil and or canola oil. There's a lot of and ors here. Spices, tomato powder, corn flour, sea salt, avocado pulp, serrano peppers, dried green bell peppers, onion powder, sugar, garlic powder, dried red bell pepper, vinegar, excuse me, spinach powder, See, I kind of like, they should have ordered it on the other package, those veggie chips. They just, instead of, like, taking up all that space and wasting all that egg, they could have, like, put more money into their product rather than the packaging. There you go. I'm sure they taste good. Um, parsley, cilantro, coriander, cumin powder, salt, lime oil, coriander leaf oil. So, these are basically corn chips that have a bunch of stuff added to them. And, um, we like corn chips, we, we, um, we love guacamole, so these will be a big hit. And last but not least, then let me double check, okay, Cherry Cola Oreo, my Oreo creation, vote for your favorite. Okay, and 
It looks like it is half regular Oreo and oh, it has popping candy like Pop Rocks. See? But you can see it looks like it's, it appears the, in the picture, it looks like it's half cream and half um, of the Pop Rock cookie. So these will be interesting. Um, this is serving size is two cookies. Um, this this is ten servings. This is this is my husband and I watching a movie, eating. <laughs> Depending on how hungry we are. Um, so th these definitely might make it into a second seating. So anyway, these it wouldn't. These definitely aren't ten for for us. Well, I, I could actually make these 10 servings, um, but lately, um, some of my medicine is, is really making me hungry. Um, so, uh, after, I usually take it, um, after, um, after dinner time. And then, like, an hour later, I, I'm just starving. I just, like, just, like, grabbing food, which I normally don't, and just, like, shoveling it in. <laughs> so, I've gained weight. Which is good. I needed to, but um, I need to back off a little bit because I don't want to get fat again. Um, I had some some medication make me fat. I've always been thin, but um, yeah, this cancer thing just has my body in a tizzy. So that being said, for thirty bucks, we got Oreo cookies. You know, Oreos are expensive. I don't know how expensive because I don't do the shopping. Lyra bars. There's five of them. That's this probably $9.99. Five of one bars. There's five of these two. The cheesecake. I would say these are probably six bucks in the store. Maybe more. I'm not sure. Nutter butter bar. Cookie uh, snack packs. I'm saying these are probably, if you bought these at the store, two for a buck or 99 cents, depending on where you bought them. Granola, this is easily nine bucks. Granola is just, if it's good granola, which this appears to be, this type of granola is really expensive. Um, these Nature Valley granola cups, I don't know how much these are. Um, I got four, I didn't get five. I'm assuming uh, if you got a package of them, there's probably five. That tends to be Nature Valley's... Um, when they send boxes out, well, when they offer boxes, there tends to always be f tends to be five items in there. So I'm thinking these are probably like four ninety nine for five. So say eighty nine eighty nine cents to a dollar piece. Chex mix. I know that can be. I think that's a couple bucks. Although we usually get the bigger bag, so I'm not sure. These are artisanal chips, so these are expensive. These are easily $4.99 at the local store. Again, these two are artisanal. Even though they technically kind of shouldn't be if you've ever had them. They're good, but they're not really artisanal. Um, though they do try to uh, play them off that way. Um, I, I, not, not necessarily this brand, but different brands, um, they try to make it, make them into a little bit more than they really are. So these, um, these probably, I would say, go for $3.99, $4.99 for this size bag. Um, I don't know how much the, pa the Pop Tots are, um, but these are Annie's, which, and Annie's is all, all organic, um, so I I don't really know. I'm gonna like guess two ninety nine, three ninety nine. Speak up anytime, guys. And the two things are nuts. Now I know nuts are not cheap. And I would guess where well, this is white cheddar and jalapeno. This is a five ninety nine, six ninety nine, and buffalo. And these are like artisanal peanuts. So yeah, I can see that these are expensive. So I would say with this particular batch of munchies, um, I pretty much got what I paid for. 
I don't think I necessarily got extra. Um, I hope I'm not missing anything because it seemed like my last few boxes were a little bigger. But it definitely is. Um, I definitely got my money's worth. I'm happy with what I got because.